Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to share a very simple technique to analyze your meta analysis data with a very free and simple software. And this video is useful for the medical students as well as those who are working for different type of meta analysis survey study. This video is immensely important. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, for this video, I'm going to share a very simple example. With this example, you know how to analyze your meta analysis data. Now, in my previous video, I have discussed different type of effect sizes. And for that particular reason, you can always refer to doing meta analysis in R. This is a free book available online. I will share the link in my description box. Here you can see different type of effect sizes. One of the effect size called the mean difference, then proportions and correlation. Normally in the mean differences, we already have discussed, but now I'm just highlighting there are two important criteria or technique that we apply. One is called the Hedges D, the other one is the Cohen's D. It is very simple. There are two groups and we collect the two groups mean and then we try to compare the two groups mean using the Hedges D or Cohen's D analysis to find out whether there is a heterogeneity or homogeneity presence in your data. <clears throat> Simple. Then we have proportions. In this case, if your dependent variable is a binary one, in that case we use Riggs ratio or odds ratio. I may discuss this proportion in my next couple of videos. Hopefully you will watch that as well. And final one is the correlation. I already shared one video based on the correlation or R analysis, which is R is a representation of the correlation statistics. So that is, that is when your independent variable or the research objective <coughs> is to find out the correlation between dependent variable and the independent variable. For this particular video, we are going to check the means difference. Why it is important? Because in a medical term, you will find that there are two important groups always present. One is control group, the other one is the treatment group. So we may use one medicine in the control group or treatment group, especially in the treatment group and without medicine control group. And we would like to see what is the effect of that medicine in these two particular groups, whether there is a change or what type of changes mentioned in different studies across the country or across the world in a long time period of time and therefore we use the meta-analysis technique, right? So we need to know the results of the two studies. For example, same drug is applying in two different groups using different studies, whether these are coming the same results or the across the studies, the results vary. That is our objective. So to fulfill that objective, we use a sim simple study here and this study called the systematic review meta-analysis of the evidence on learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. So this is the title of the study and in this study, we're trying to find out before COVID and after COVID, what is the learning duration or the learning outcome comes for this pandemic hit. So pandemic is one of the intervention and the two groups here after pandemic or post pandemic and before pandemic okay so in this case we don't go thoroughly because this uh, paper i'm going to share in the video description box you can check it very easily what i would like to mention here is the measurement technique so if i go down and you will see this is the measurement and standardization technique so we standardize all estimates they are basically the mean is our estimates because as you know in the meta-analysis the effect size based on mean proportions or correlation so here the, the estimates based on the means so means of uh, estimates of learning deficits during the pandemic using Cohen's D difference between Cohen's D and Hedges D I already explained my previous video but in this case just to simplify Cohen's D and uh, Hedges D both standardize the means but the only difference is in the Cohen's D, it is more bias corrected, which express the effect sizes in terms of standard deviations. So here we are using standard deviations and the mean differences. Now Cohen's D is calculated as the difference in the mean. You see mean 
learning gain in a given subject maths or reading over two comparable periods as i said treatment group and control group which you you often come across in the medical science before and after the onset of the pandemic divided by the pooled standard deviation of learning progress in this subject so how to calculate this cohen's d or hs d very simple one x1 is the mean of one group x2 is the mean of other group divided by the standard deviation this is the pool standard deviation and how to find the pool standard deviation very simple the standard deviation of one group standard deviation of other group square it and divide by 2 you will get the pool standard deviation and finally in order to calculate the estimate or d fx size is expressed in beta coefficients or converted to cohen's d using this simple technique so here coefficient of coefficient is nothing but to calculate the fx size expressed in beta coefficients are converted to cohen's d this is just the conversion of the cohen's d and how to calculate it you can see very simply now this is the formula to calculate the cohen's d now cohen's d and hedges d these are the two important for mean differences when there are two groups there are two mean differences and we would like to know more about the differences across the studies whether they are homogeneous or heterogeneous or there is a higher variability among the studies about the results now for that reason here is a sample data now this data you can see that the studies are listed here the studies are from 2021 you can see all the studies are recorded okay and as you can see here that the studies are divided into primary and secondary studies grades are differences age group date months subject country so across the country is very important why because if we see that there is a higher heterogeneity among the estimates then we may go for a subgroup analysis so quite often you might ask that when we should go for a subgroup analysis it is it is the time when there is a higher heterogeneity in the estimates and how do we find the higher heterogeneity very simple using the random effect model or if fixed effect model you can easily calculate the higher heterogeneity or homogeneity among the studies so these studies are listed over here n number of studies or sample sizes e is the estimate we already have calculated cohen's d standard error of the each study z score we already have know from the data set or the studies that we have collected we can collect the z store from here as well as the p value so this is the data set of the study that i just mentioned about the covid 19 effect so with that study we can go and see how we can analyze it so i am using japs a free software as i told you i always use free softwares for your simplicity so this is the sample data and how do you upload the data just go to the japs data this three bar and go to the computer and you go and see that meta analysis you can click this one the my data set and this is my recent file sample data so once you upload it it will be appear like that so data date month subject country and study es uh, s e z all these are very similar to the excel file now once we upload the data set we go strictly to the meta analysis part and you can see here that meta analysis are over here you see meta analysis click here because we are using simple classical meta analysis click the meta analysis now as you can see here there are two important box effect size and effect size estimate or standard error we already know the effect size es is the effect size and we already know the standard error so once we cal we once we uh, select these two the data is already calculated so estimates are tau tau square h square i square all are given over here now you can use the fixed effect maximum likelihood hedges d so let's say we are calculating the with the hedges d so the, the cohen's d and hedges d are mainly based for the mean differences between the two groups so we are using the hedges d as their estimates because our calculation is cohen's d so cohen's d hedges d there is no much differences and we can go for a model and then we go for a statistics if you go to statistics you can click the forest plot to find out the heterogeneity among the studies okay so we already see the japs is already calculated everything for us you can see over here very easily the fixed effect random effect model coefficients residual heterogeneity right and the plot as well so all these information are given very nicely using the japs software now the question is doctor how to interpret it okay so there are two ways you can interpret without taking any other cell one way is to just to 
open the quad file paste everything over here and then save this file save this file as a pdf save this file as a pdf okay <clears throat> you can see here desktop uh, save this file as a pdf okay once you save this file as a pdf go to the sizespace.com sizespace and go to the <clears throat> copilot option these are all free click this one okay and you will go to the residual heterogeneity estimates you can see over here in the go to the desktop residual heterogeneity estimates click this one okay and this will appear now maybe this one i i just uh, want to see how the copilot work okay and then once the copilot uploaded the file just like i shared here it will appear like this in front of you so the size space is a free software and now all the results are over here these results i take it from here one two three results here one two three results all you have to do just click the explain math and table okay for instance i would like to know about the residual heterogeneity estimates just click this one and the copilot the ai will explain everything to you so the ai will explain all this information in front of you just to see explanation the highlighted text contains a table presenting residual heterogeneity estimates all this information and its explanation is given here you can also write down here can you can you interpret the results little more over here one other thing you can do is you can go to the chat gpt okay so what i did i just copy the whole thing chat gpt tau square tau i square h square and then i say explain and as you see here that chat gpt is a free version i use the 3.5 free version here as well the tau square is given based on the chat gpt explanation it says that it the measures provides a sense of range of variability and as you can see here that the h square or h square showing that higher value suggest increasing heterogeneity so among the studies that we have collected there is a higher variability among the studies so the results are not accurate among the among the studies the different results are coming from different studies so there is a higher heterogeneity so we cannot conclude that yes covid 19 has a significant impact on the learning outcome of the students across the countries over all over the world so in order to understand the accurate results the chat gpt suggesting us that you need to explore the reasons for this heterogeneity and potentially use the subgroup analysis or meta regression meta regression meaning that why this estimates impacting other independent variables we might discuss in some other video and subgroup analysis also can find out the accurate analysis about the reason behind this heterogeneity so either you can calculate either you can explain using the chat gpt very easily or you can use size space like this way or you can use japs to analyze your data and you can always find the video description box so everything is here my dear learners if you have any problem anything you'd like to know more you can always write any comment i will get back to you of course our today's video's main idea is to use a simple data set using free jap software explain using size space or chat gpt the results and finding out the interpretation of the results of cohen's d or hedges d meaning that the main difference is between the two groups control and treatment group this video is useful particularly for medical students and then those researchers who are using survey methodology using the two groups so i hope this video is useful for you i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye my dear learners take care